to the next Cloud DNA Expert Talk. In this Expert Talk, we're going to talk about the stuff you can see here. We're going to talk about the Identity Authentication Service, about other identity providers, and also about different SAP Cloud solutions uh, to show you how you can use uh, the IAS for authentication in different scenarios. to the next expert talk from Cloud CloudDNA. Uh, this expert talk is about uh, PTP security again. And this time we will focus on the identity authentication service. So we will be in the PTP, of course, uh, and the identity authentication service is more or less doing the authentication for you. Uh, so authentication service, identity authentication service is provided to you by SAP, so you cannot or you shouldn't instantiate it on your own and you have something called uh, a tenant. So you have an IAS, which is the Identity Authentication Service. And you will also hear quite often about the Identity Authentication Tenant which is more or less just the instance of the, of the service itself. The service uh, can, uh, or can deal with or is an uh, identity provider. So this is an, an SAML, Security Assertion Market Language, identity provider. And the idea of the identity provider is that it stores the, the users, of course, for your application. So you can have a user store inside the identity authentication service like you can have it also with a Microsoft Azure Active Directory, for instance. But this is focusing, of course, on SAP use cases. And you have a user store here, and the users can authenticate against this. And we have the identity provider, and therefore we also need so-called service providers. And uh, if you go here, uh, we can have the, the BTP itself, the sub-account in the BTP. So we have the SAP Business Technology Platform here on the sub-account level. And the sub-account is in the role of the SAML service provider. SAML SP, which is service provider. And this connects to the identity provider. So there is a trusted relationship between the service provider and the identity provider. Every service provider knows the identity provider but if you have different service providers, they don't know each other necessarily. So what you can also have here is you can, for instance, have SAP Cloud Solutions here. Like, good example, success factors. SF, SF. And uh, this is also in the role of the service provider, some SP. And basically the idea is that you authenticate the users not directly in success factors, but against the identity authentication service. And that with the identity authentication service, you can also achieve a single sign-on across multiple SAP cloud and on-premise applications, web-based, of course, uh, because we don't have sub -GUI support, but it should be web-based. And uh, therefore, we have an entrusted relationship, a trust here. And what's happening is, we have to establish this, so we have to exchange some metadata. Uh, you can also read about this in, in our uh, book on SAP PTP uh, authorizations and security. Uh, but uh, basically the, the idea behind this is, if you have a user that wants to access the, either the PTP or also success factors or any other cloud solution, this can also be a non-SAP cloud solution, so we are using HTTPS here to access the solutions as a protocol. And if you access the system, you need to be authenticated. And this authentication is not happening here, but it is delegated to the identity authentication service, so to the identity provider. Therefore, in the first step, you will be redirected to the, ident no, to the identity authentication service so you have a redirect here, 
but this is not directly done from the front end. It is done by the, by the uh, sub account that you would like to access. So it redirects you in the first step. So this is the first one you ex try to access here. Just a second. Then you get the redirect to the identity authentication service. You authenticate against the service with your username and your password. And then you get back an, an uh, SAML response containing all your group assignments and also the information, of course, if you're authenticated or not. And finally, you can access the solution itself. So you get a response with this ticket. So in the response, you get a ticket back. And with this, you can then access the cloud solution. And you can also use this ticket without an additional logon to also access the success factor system. So you can also access this one if you would like without re-authenticating. So this is just doing the authentication, the authorization, which means the check if you, are, if you have the correct permissions in the system. And this is still done here inside the systems. So the authorization check is done either in the sub account here or in the success factors or in the S4HANA cloud or whatever system you have. And that's basically the, the idea of the identity authentication service. The identity authentication service, on the other hand, can not only store the, the users in the service itself, but it can also act as a proxy. So with the IAS, you can also access, for instance, another SAML identity provider, like, for instance, Azure Active Directory. So coming from Microsoft, this is something we see quite often in, in the real world, in customer scenarios. So they use Azure Active Directory, but you can delegate the authentication. So you, uh, you try to authenticate here, you're redirected to the IAS, the IAS redirects you to Azure Active Directory, and there you're authenticated and everything is going back here and you can then access the different SAP systems. The advantage of this is that you can connect multiple identity, identity providers here in this so-called proxy mode. So we are using a proxy mode here. So this is acting as a proxy in this case. So we just switch the roles here. The identity authentication service becomes the client, so the service provider, and this would then be the identity provider. And that's also a an, an feature that is uh, quite often used, that is, it is used as, an, as a proxy. Yeah, and that's uh, for, the, for an overview, all I, I wanted to show you in this expert talk on the identity authentication service, uh, just to see what are the, the scenarios where it can be used and also what are the different modes that you can use. So storing the users either directly or in an Azure Active Directory, or you can also access an on-premise LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol Server. Uh, but this will be handled in more detailed in a detail in another expert talk. So thanks for watching.